Hey folks, Sheila here from Design Files. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can use the new flooring editor uh, within the 3D Floor Planner to add different types of textures or different uh, flooring types to your floor. So if you had an open concept space and you wanna section off a part of it with tile and another part of it with wood flooring, this new flooring editor will allow you to do that. So let's go ahead. I'm just going to clear the flooring options that I have right now so we can start from scratch and I'll show you how this works. Now, when you're in the 3D floor planner, you're gonna notice that you now have the ability to click directly on the floor and that's gonna pop up this little icon here where you can then edit the floor. So if you click onto that, it's gonna bring you into the floor editor and this is gonna show you the overall map for your floor. So here you can see a little bit of a blue outline here. So these lines are indicating that this is where a door opening is and here, and these lines here, that would kind of be the edge of your baseboard. All right. Now, if I want to customize this floor, I can go into, I've got all these different texture options available to me. So let's first start by filling out the entire floor with a specific wood option. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to pop into the wood panel here. You'll see that there's a lot of options that are available to you or you could also choose to go into the wood planks and you're gonna see that there are a number of options within this library as well that you can use. So you can just click on one of the ones that you like, click on it, and it's gonna fill in that entire floor with that texture. If you wanted the boards to go the opposite way, you can see here you've got your rotation tool. So you can just rotate them 90 degrees and you can rotate the uh, floorboards. And then you also can play around with the horizontal scale. So if you really want to increase the overall size of the floorboards, then you can do that as well, or you can decrease them. So we'll just bring this back. Now I'm going to leave it at 100% for these ones. We'll just leave it as is. And uh, the next thing that I want to do is I want to tile off this section right here because I've got uh, French doors leading to the outdoor here. So we're going to tile off this section uh, of the floor. So what I want to do is I'm going to use the rectangular tool right here. Click on that. We're going to create a rectangular shape by clicking on the actual floor plan. I'm going to move my mouse out and I'm going to bring it right to the edge of where that uh, baseboard trim is going to go. So I'm going to click about here and then I can go back to our main texture library. I'm going to go into tile. You'll see a bunch of options. I'm just going to jump into stone here. And if I scroll through here, you're going to see a number of different options. So let's just go ahead and we'll select this one right here. Now with this tile, if I wanted to increase the size of it, I could just bump up the horizontal and vertical scale. Um, I could also rotate this as well, actually. So let's say that I want this to go 45 degrees so I get more of a diamond pattern. And if I want to adjust the overall placement of the tile, you can also adjust the horizontal and the vertical offset. So you'll see how that starts to shift the tile in your overall design if you are using this option. Okay, let's say that I'm good with that. I'm just going to hit save. And now you can see that I've tiled off this section of the floor and I've got wood flooring on the other portion of it. So you can definitely use this feature to customize your floors. Another thing that you could potentially do, let's just go ahead and we'll edit this. If you saw a, let's say you saw a pattern within our tiles that you really liked and you wanted to use it as a, an example for a rug, you could actually just choose to create another rectangular shape on your floor, place it where you want within your design. You can of course, you know, uh, pull on these lines if you need to adjust the overall size of that uh, particular rectangular shape that you're going to use as a rug and then go ahead and apply a texture to it. So once I apply a texture to it, I can also extrude this so that it looks like it's raised off the floor a bit. So let's say we're going to raise it a quarter of an inch, save this, and then you'll see that it looks like you've placed a rug on the floor. So it gives you just like a whole other library that you can really use for um, carpeting or for um, for any sort of rugs that you might want to build into your, your overall 3D floor plan. So just keep that in mind. There's different ways that you can use it, but uh, definitely pop into your account, give this new feature a try and start playing around with customizing your flooring and adding in a variety of different textures uh, for different sections within your floor plan. If you have any questions about this at all, feel free to reach out on the live chat. We're always happy to help. Thanks for watching.